Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you a layout that I created of my daughter Natalie and her friend and this is for Iron Roses. I use the Gorgeous Paper Collection by GCD Studios which is designed by Donna Salazar and it's the Antiquities. Really gorgeous vintage paper collection. It has a lot of dress forms and really pretty roses and butterflies. It's just a really um, pretty collection. It's double sided. I love the teacup. You can also use your uh, Zutter Dream Cuts and also a couple of your Spellbinders as well. And for my 12 by 12 I again use medium weight chipboard and then I add the 12 by 12 design paper on top. I distress the edges with my distress tool and the walnut stain distress ink. And then I did a splatter technique for the background and that's using my paintbrush and the Lindy Stamp Gang Dark Chocolate Truffle which is a really a nice dark chocolate color and you can see here I add it right here and then there's also some down here and then the paper collection had these border strips so I add two of them right here and then two down here and then I fussy cut out this really gorgeous vintage lady and then I took one of um, the design papers that you could cut out with your dream cuts and then just layered it on top and then I add the photo on top of that and then I really like the sentiment on one of the design papers it says measure your journey in friends rather than miles and then I finally cut out the butterfly on um, the chandelier so there's three butterflies right here and then here I finally cut out the teacup and this really pretty flower and then this little dress form and then down here I add a gear which I fussy cut as well and then here's another teacup that I fussy cut so it's a lot of fussy cutting in this um, layout and then another one which were these tape strips and then I add um, the piece by piece trim right here and then the gorgeous iron roses flowers that I incorporated um, these are the PS flowers right here which are these so basically I just sprayed that with the Lindy Stamp Gang Seagrass Green and then I just cut it in half and then I just layered it on top of one another and then this is a really gorgeous R77 flower that was originally white so it's this flower right here and then I first sprayed it with the Lindy Stamp Gang Saltwater Taffy and then I took my paintbrush and just painted the tips of the petal and also the center of the rosebud with the Cape Cod Coral. And I love it. It's a really pretty color. And then these ones I just sprayed with the Cape Cod Coral. And then these are the really gorgeous, um, oh and these are the R21 flowers. And those were also originally white, so it looked like that. And then these are the really cute, tiny R2 flowers in the brown. I love how tiny they are. They make great um, additional um, accents to your flowers. So I add three right here. So that's my layout. Really fun to create. And you can get these gorgeous flowers at imroses.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.